Hello everyone. My name is Prerna and I have been working with Cisco for around one and a half years now. And today we'll be discussing how to install phone locales. The purpose of the same is to have localized support for applications, devices and having localized spoken prompts. So they are produced individually and are specific to a language and a country combination. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step in installing the phone locale would be to download it from the Cisco website. So we'll navigate to software.cisco.com and from there we'll download the phone locale. So the next step is to click on software download. We'll be redirected to the uh, Cisco website. Here uh, we have to search for the uh, phone locale. Now the phone locale is specific to the phone model that we are using. So in this video I'll be using the 7841. So we'll be downloading the phone locales for 7841 phone models. So here we'll click on endpoints locale installer. So on the left hand side you will be able to see the various releases and on the right hand side you will be able to see the various locales. So it is available in different languages like it's available in UAE, it's available in Iraq, Jordan. So for this tutorial we'll be uh, downloading the phone locale for Spain. So uh, we'll download the phone locale by clicking the download button. Next we have to accept the license agreement and then uh, the download will start. So select some location where you want the locale to be saved and then the uh, download is complete. Our next step will be to open the call manager. So we'll just navigate to the call manager. And now we have to install the phone locale. So for doing that, we'll just open the OS administration page. So select that from the drop down menu and click on go. Now just log in here, enter your credentials. So it will take a minute for the page to come up. Yeah. Now what we have to do is we have to install the file, the COP file. So there was another session that was going on. So I'm assuming control for that particular session and we'll start this process again. So for starting that process again, what we'll do is we'll go to software upgrades and then again we'll, st uh, we'll select install slash upgrade from the drop down menu. This is the option that we'll select install slash upgrade. So for this particular video, I am using the SolarWinds SFTP server. So now we have to connect our CUCM with the SolarWinds SFTP server. So we'll enter the IP address here in the server field. Then we have to give the username and the password that is there in the SFTP server. So the username here is uh, Cisco and I enter the password here. And then we have to click next in order for the CUCM and the SFTP server to communicate. So after we are connected, uh, in the drop down menu, we'll select the uh, locale file, the, sp the Spanish locale file that we downloaded. And then uh, you have to click on next. So it will take a minute uh, for the call manager to download it and then after the download we can we have the next step is to verify the hash values of this particular locale file. So we can down we can match this hash value the MD5 hash value that you are able to see here from the Cisco website. Then you have to click on next. So now the phone locale is in the process of installing so the installation is taking place. And now uh, it, it is complete. So it will take some time for the installation. I had paused the video in between. So now after some time the installation is complete. The next step would be to restart the TFTP services. So what we have to do is we have to open the serviceability page and then you have to log in there.
after we log in to the serviceability page we have to select the feature services from the drop down menu control center feature services upon the page loading yeah now we have to scroll down and uh, select the cisco tftp we'll select the CF tftp service and then we'll click on restart uh, it will take again it will take some time for the tftp service to restart so we'll wait for that now it says the tftp service restart operation was successful so now we have to go to the cm administration page so we'll navigate it to that page now the next step is to inst uh, actually put the phone locale in in our phone the the desired phone that we are doing the lab recreate so we'll go to the device and we'll open the phone page the directory number for my phone is 1010 so i'll do a search on that basis now i'll select that particular phone the 7841 phone now when we scroll down you will be able to see a option user locale so from the drop down menu just select the spanish locale and then you, we have to save the changes so just click on save then you have to apply the configuration for the changes to take place so just do a apply config here a pop-up window will come up so just click on ok and then finally you have to reset the phone so just do a reset restart and then close the window so now what will happen that the phone will initially it will unregister then we'll wait for it to register back so if i do a find here so the phone is currently unregistered so it will take a minute or so for the phone to be back up so we'll wait and if i do a find again so the phone is now registered and the phone has indeed taken the phone locale that we had installed and that we can verify from the user locale so this is how we install the phone locale